printing with four colors is cool. But you know what's better? How about eight filaments? How are you gonna do this? Well, you're in luck. Introducing the Palette 3. There you are, welcome back. The Palette 3 Pro, right here, brand new from Mosaic. In fact, Mosaic has released two palettes. There we go, the Palette 3 and the Palette 3 Pro. Both feature an upgraded color touch screen. Both now have the canvas hub included and both feature a metal stand. One thing I noticed right away is the lights that appear for loading the filament. With the Palette 3, the lights are in the holes, meaning it's way easier to load if you don't have a lot of light in the room. One difference between these two is the number of filaments they take. Palette 3 can take four filaments, just like previous palette machines, and it works great. However, with Palette 3 Pro, it expands the ability for your imagination to create because it takes eight filaments. The number of the day is eight. Now, between both machines, the filament path has changed a little bit and I'm excited to take you through it. The eight filaments find themselves entering the machine on the left right here. And you can see there are eight inputs. Each input has a switch so it can detect when the filament has ran out. They go up to this roller bar and there's a selector behind the roller bar. So only one filament is being driven at a time and only one filament is engaged at a time. From there, they go through this neat little pathway right here. I mean, look at that. That's just cool. Comes around this bend and it goes to the cutter wheel. We're already familiar with that, but then it hits this switch. And this switch lets the palette know exactly where the filament is. You know, in fact, this switch and all other switches in the machine are brand new. Let me show you. There are eight switches on the inputs because there are eight inputs, one switch per input. There is a switch past the cutting wheel and a switch right past the splice core. And finally, around the buffer, you'll find a switch at the minimum position and a switch at the maximum position. Past this switch is the splice core and Mosaic updated the splice core, optimizing the inside of the tubes to substantially reduce the chance of filament jamming on the inside. They also added a fan in the back and that cools the filament as it exits the splice core instead of just letting it sit in the splice core. From here, the filament is spliced, cooled, and it enters the brand new buffer system. It now has, right over here, a max switch along with a min or minimum switch, so it can detect when too much filament is being made and adjust, as well as when there's not enough. They've also added a PTFE tube right here, giving much more structure to the buffer, which means that it's gonna be easier for palette to print with softer materials, such as TPU. The buffer takes the filament past the encoder wheel right here and then out the top of the machine. One thing to note, the palette no longer requires PTFE with custom ends. A normal PTFE tube works in the new fittings they are using. From here, the filament goes out to the printer and starts printing your epic multicolor and multi-material designs. I haven't had the machine for long, but I've got a few prints. Yeah. Do you want to see them? Yes! First, two colors. The mosaic keychain seen here in yellow and purple, and it looks great. I'm sure you think so as well. There's a little bit of an elephant's foot right there, but that's because I had it squished down to the bed. Colors are proper though. Here's the transition tower. I mean, everything looks proper and good. I, I, it's a good model. Two colors though, what? What? How about four colors? This is the Vault of Asgard by Bugman 140, and it's printed in random mode into a Prusa Mini using Palette 3 and four different PLA filaments. It's gorgeous. I love how the colors just swirl around. It almost looks like candy. <laughs> It doesn't taste like candy. I've tried, but this is, this is fantastic. I love this. Four colors? What is this? You want more and I know it. How about seven? This is a seven color mini Joel. Let me get my pencil of pointing. Yellow shoes, gray pants, blue shirt, white skin, red lips, black glasses and eyes, and not brown hair, purple hair. 
seven colors, seven colors on this thing. You do see a little color bleed on the white. White is gonna be one of those hardest things to, to transition to just because it's so unpigmented <laughs> or the pigment isn't dark. And so when you're printing with palette and using white, you can adjust the transition length for certain colors or inputs. And that means with some testing, and uh, some more prints, I'll be able to solve that problem and have crystal clear white in my prints. Honestly though, look at that. That's mini Joel. That is friggin' mini Joel. And that's the transition tower right there. I, I know, you want eight. You want eight, right? You want eight? Eight it is. With eight, I wanted something incredibly special. And I talked to my wife and I said, do you have any ideas? And my wife said, how about a rainbow with white fluffy clouds? and a black border around it. And I was like, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, white for fluffy clouds, and a black border. That's eight. So I got to work. I went to Fusion 360 and I started designing stuff and my imagination was flying. And I came up with something I cannot wait to show you. This is the rainbow. <laughs> this isn't just any rainbow. This is a rainbow that I designed. And what's great is I utilized all eight colors that the Palette 3 Pro can print with. Part of what makes this really special to me is the inspiration that it gave me. A tool like this, the Palette 3 Pro, with eight different inputs allows you to now use eight different colors in an easy way. It was just, it, it felt really good. And actually when I pulled this off the printer, I just stared at it and I was, I was blown away. I know it's a rainbow with fluffy clouds and a black border, but to me, it was, it was something I made thanks to this. And I just, I, I can't stress enough how, how awesome that feeling was. Allowing eight colors now means my imagination is better represented. It now means I have a broader palette of paints to use. It now means I can create something like this and it's beautiful and I love it. One thing to note with eight color prints or really any multicolor print where you're using the same nozzle to print all the colors, you have to transition between the colors. If you have color A coming through and color B right behind it, it takes a little bit for that color to transition from A to B. And that's what you see here represented on the transition tower. I haven't had the machine for long and I, and I have a few prints, but Mosaic and the team there has been working on this thing for a long, long time. In fact, this machine was in development when we were in Toronto last to visit the team. I know it's been an incredibly difficult year with everything that's go on, going on, but the team at Mosaic has been working really, really hard to get things done. It's, it's really cool to see what this team has, has brought to fruition. I think that it's a refined experience that allows more creativity from your imagination. Just being able to utilize eight colors in a print easily for someone like me who doesn't have the ability to paint models as well as others, there's something to that, something really special. And I can't wait for this to get into everybody's hands. So at this point, here's what's really cool. These machines and a few other cool things are being announced by Mosaic. This is the pre-order period and it'll ship in a couple months. The Palette 3, this machine right here is $5.99. The Palette 3 Pro is $7.99, but for the next two months, for April and May, during the pre-order period, it's $100 less on each. So right now this is $4.99 and this is $6.99. That's pretty cool. It's really cool to see what they've done and I can't wait to see what you make with it. But you know, at this point, we have to remember, outside of Mosaic, I'm probably the only person that has these in their possession. So now it's up to you. What do you wanna see printed with, th with this thing? What do you want to see printed with the Palette 3? What eight color models do you want to see with the Palette 3 Pro? I'd love to hear it down in the comments. Well, if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, practice kindness aggressively, and as always, high five.